Hello, I'm here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's going to be an absolutely awesome day today. I'm joined, of course, by James, the coaster chicken. I've got Sam, the coaster tog. I've got coaster hen. And I've got Dave from Dave's Adventures. And, of course, anxious rider Darren as well. It's going to be an absolutely awesome day today. The sun's shining. It's a little bit windy today, so uh, I'm not anticipating we're going to get any big one anytime soon. It's meant to die down this afternoon, so hopefully um, it'll open up this afternoon. We'll get some rides on it. But it's got nice blue skies, so we're going to have a, a lovely day. And it's, uh, yeah. Let's go and explore Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So the big news today is our bricks being put on. See there, Steve, Bob, Casper and Eid, Fills and Food 2022. Finally been put on, we're down near the bottom where we want it to be. Absolutely brilliant. So we've now been immortalised into the brickwork of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Absolutely incredible, fantastic. And it's great to see it on there. There's some other great names on there too. Amazing. Yeah, that's our name on Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Right, first up, we're going to be going on to Nickelodeon Streak, the infamous Nick Streak, formerly known as the roller coaster, of course, made up of former parts of uh, the Velvet Coaster. Uh, great woody this one. Um, I'm not, I don't think there's much of a queue this morning, we was running on half a train before, so uh, it looks like we're getting straight on this. So, uh, some after the will come off. <laughs> walk on first ride there on the Nick Street. It's a really great ride that. Good old fashioned Woody. Um, but yeah, really enjoyable. It's probably the smoothest Woody in the park really. Um, really good fun. Yeah, so uh, let's go investigate find some more rides. Yeah, really is such a fun ride, the next streak. Um, always nice to start the day off there. And that's, of course, that's one that only has one train, so uh, it, does one, it does get quite a bit of a queue, so it's nice to get that one out of the way. Uh, um, still a bit breezy, hopefully that dies down, but um, yeah, that's uh, Nick streak. Next up is the ultimate kitty credit. It's the Blue Flyer. It's been here since I think it was 1935. It's a really, really, it's had many different names through the years. It's a, if you want to know more about the history, check out the history and, uh, of the iconic rides at Black Pleasure Beach uh, vlog that we did a while ago. Uh, but yeah, let's go, go check out the Blue Flyer. Just boxed off the uh, the classic avalanche there. You're going to see the music. Uh, you can see the bears. They're playing their instruments just behind me. Um, it was pretty much a well, I say a walk on. It had a 15 minute delay to uh, uh, to start the ops today. So oh, the sun's just shining right in my face there. Um, so um, yeah, we had a bit of a delay before it started. But um, once the uh, ride actually opened, no key whatsoever. I think it's going to be a really good day today in terms of wait times. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful sunny day here today at Blackpool. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I just hope this wind dies down so we'll be able to get on the big one. Um, it appears Revolution uh, is actually closed at the moment as well because uh, uh, there's no activity going on in the station there. But again, ho hopefully it'll all open up for later on and uh, we box off all these rides here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Unfortunately, Icon, you can see behind me, it's got a, a rare bit of downtime now. We had to, some people had to get evac uh, off the ride. So, uh, unfortunately, that's not operating at the moment. So we're going to give that a miss. We're going to head down to where Steeplechase is. Uh, the incredibly uh, unique ride that they do have here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and we'll try and get back on it later. The winds do feel like they're dying down so hopefully we'll be able to uh, uh, get on to Revolution, Big One and uh, all those rides that are currently not operating because of the weather. So um, yeah, it's a beautiful day still, that's the most important thing. Oh, I don't believe that. 
it's about maybe 10 minute wait there. We've got on to Steeplechase where the winner between me and Coaster Todd um, and Coaster Chicken and Anxious Rider was me and Todd. Me and Sam won uh, the Steeplechase. It's a really fun ride. It is rough. It is. And uh, it's not great on your hips when you get knocked around. But it's a lot of fun, especially when you're riding against other people. It's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I think we've just got news that Revolution's open, so we're going to go and try that out now. Right, the time's come. Icon has reopened. So we've joined the queue line, coming back down. It's not like there's many people in front of us, so we're going to be on this shortly. So, uh, uh, yeah, we'll get some footage for this because it's what an incredible ride. Best in the country for me. Can't wait to get back on it. Well, that's it. Just had a walk on Icon. Absolutely incredible, as always. Not even warmed up, just first one straight onto it. Absolutely incredible ride. It was about mid train as well, so it's not the, the best place to be seen on that, but there's no such thing as a bad seat on that ride. Absolutely incredible ride. The airtime over that top patch behind me is just absolutely phenomenal. Best ride in the country, no doubt about it. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, I'm going to go on that again today, so uh, um, yeah, awesome. National there, and I think the guys behind me um, aren't the biggest of fans, to be fair. <laughs> really rough ride. I didn't get a wheel seat, so I thought it was incredibly smooth. It was riding really well, as far as I was concerned. Um, the key is avoiding those wheel seats, because once you get on one of them, once you go down that, especially that first double down uh, drop, it really does, it's, it's, it feels not comfortable at all. But well, I, I was standing at the centre of a carriage, it felt absolutely fine, it was brilliant. Um, yeah, really nice ride, I have to say. Probably the best ride I've ever had on it. Um, as you can see, uh, the start, um, Getting all the Halloween stuff ready now. You can see, uh, where is it? It's behind there. You can see the, there's a wheel of death just over there. And uh, behind me here, where you can see they've got all of the, uh, uh, started building all the set stuff for the Journey to Hell Freak Nights that's going to be coming up. So uh, hopefully I'll be, um, be able to bring you some of the stuff that they're going to be doing there because they've got quite a lot of attractions. Um, don't know what they're actually going to entail, but there's things like there's infusions going to be involved, there's river caves going to be involved, uh, ghost train. Uh, last year, of course, they had. Um, uh, icon blindfolded they had big one with the lights out so i'm sure there's gonna be stuff of a similar um uh, fashion is going to be for this year so uh, we'll have to wait uh, to see what it's going to be like but uh, hopefully they'll be able to bring you everything that's going to be there so uh, yeah we're going to go and check out some more rides now so uh, uh, it's really really quiet here. it's absolutely fantastic day for a saturday as well so uh, let's go check it out you see all the uh, journey to hell stuff that's all started getting uh, ready there now so uh, I'm not sure, it looks like they're going to have some form of show that's going to be uh, taking place there. They've got all the barriers in place, so we can't go any further than that to have a look at it. But it uh, looks like it's going to be uh, um, quite good though, whatever they've got going on. They've got a car on its side there. That, that car usually makes an appearance every single year, that micro. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know what's going to be going on there, but it looks like it's going to be good. So I've just joined up here for the Riff Legendary River Caves. That looks like it's about 15 minutes, so I can't complain with that. Um, yeah, absolutely love this ride. Can't wait to get back on it. That is the River Caves.
on the west bank of the Nile stand the temples of the Abu Simbel. They remained unknown to the outside world until their discovery in 1813. Built by the Egyptian king Ramses II, these colossal statues are the most spectacular example of the art of the ancient Egypt. On the west bank of the Nile stand the temples of the Abu Simbel. They remain unknown to the outside world until they discover the United States. So I just come off the river caves there. That for me is one of the best dark rides in the country. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's, it's made in the 1930s. Think that that's one of the inspirations behind Pirates of the Caribbean. It's just absolutely amazing. It's just such a good ride. It's so old, so much nostalgia and history that's it's actually hidden within this ride. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, and still, even now, I get the same enjoyment going on this uh, and what I did when I first went on there. It's such a great ride. It really, really is. If you're not being on it, it's definitely worth coming just to go on this because there's so much history and it is a beautiful ride. So that is the River Caves. We've waited pretty much about 15 minutes and not long at all, considering it's a Saturday as well. So, yeah, River Caves. I think we're going to check out Infusion next. So, uh, let's see how long queue is for that. I just had a double whammy of doing Infusion and the Big Dipper and I have to say they are riding very very well. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Infusion it has to be said. Um, I, I've often said about how rough it is and how it doesn't ride particularly well. Today it was riding as well as I've ever known it to be honest with you, riding really comfortable. I think the key to that really is getting stapled in so you don't get thrown around in your seat but uh, it's it really good. Then we went on to the uh, uh, the big dip you can see behind here, and it, that is running. It, considering it's 100 years old next year, it is running so well. And we got a uh, back row ride, uh, and it was walk up as well, which considering it's a Saturday, that is absolutely immense. So, uh, yeah, that's the big dip. We're going to go and head uh, round to Icon again now and see if we can get a ride on Enzo.
bed. Rings? Or did you check the brakes? day today we've had an absolutely incredible day it's been absolutely dead uh, we've been no big one no revolution unfortunately but that's just what happens sometimes uh, you can't get on everything but um, I think it was five goes we ended up on Icon which is which is absolutely great considering it's a Saturday as well it's absolutely phenomenal a great day spending it with great company as well so uh, yeah that's Blackpool Pleasure Beach here so we're gonna get a few more visits in before the end of the year uh, hopefully get here for uh, Journey to Hell and Freak Night the freak nights so uh, yeah we'll see you in the next vlog bye <laughs>